Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna be making this fun pastel abstract butterfly glitter tumbler design inspired by this look here just in time for spring. You know you're gonna see all the products in this video listed and linked down below in the description box. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. Now this design was part of my Flynn Inspired Challenge that we were having in my private group. If you're wondering what my private group is, there's a link down below that will explain it. We are opening up some spots this month. We go live in that group every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have a lot of fun with our members and the group really pays for itself with all the product discounts that you get. So if you're already buying my epoxy and my rhinestones, using the group discount will really help that whole thing pay for itself. We get a lot of value um, for our members, not just with our products, but for some of our favorite sponsors that you guys see on this channel all the time. So Craft Haven Tumblers, Maestro Creations, Banff, all of it. All right, so check the link out down below if you're interested in joining our group. And that's definitely enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, so today I'm working with a 10 ounce stubby from Craft Haven. I love this cup because it doesn't have that seam line thing at the bottom that bothers me. Um, I'm going to tape off the bottom of my tumbler like I've been doing a lot lately because I don't like finishing the bottom of my cups. Basically I just run a strip of electrical tape along that bottom rim and then put it through my edge trimmer and that gives us a nice crispy line and then we'll proceed to sand the sides to prep and clean with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and we're ready to get started. This tumbler will be a half and half design so I'm gonna use those little plastic seams on my lid that came with my cup to mark the true half with a pencil. If you look at your plastic lid, you'll see what I'm talking about. All of them have those little lines on either side. So once I mark the top of my tumbler, I will just use my line tool that I got from the Amy's Make Everything to draw a straight line through the true center of my tumbler. And I will link this line tool uh, down below in the description box. Once I have the line drawn through the true center of my tumbler, I'll make sure those lines are nice and straight. I'll use some painter's tape to tape off half of my tumbler and we're going to start by base painting the half of it with a flat white spray paint. After I spray painted the white and it was mostly dry, I sprayed half of it with Rust-Oleum's Ocean Mist. It's like this really pretty pastel minty green just halfway up the cup. Okay, so we almost want a white to mint ombre and then I did a very small section towards the bottom with a French lilac purple. This will be the base coat for our glitter that will later be the backdrop for our butterfly wing. So if you wanted this to resemble more of the shape of your butterfly wing, you'd be a little more precise about where you're putting your spray paint, but mine's gonna be more of like an abstract vibe to the butterfly wing, so I'm not really concerned with getting it in the right shape. As soon as my paint was dry to the touch, which took about 20 minutes, I was able to apply my adhesive for my glitter. I'm using the glitter glue from Adhesive Apothecary today. I actually really like it. Just a nice thin coat, nothing crazy. I really love the working time of this adhesive and it dries pretty quick too. I'm going to start with Petunia Glitter from Peachy Olive Glitters for the purple section doing just a really light sprinkling, almost like I would for an ombre. Then I'm gonna go in with Mojito, also from Peachy Olive Glitters, and bring that up through our minty section, trying to blend it a little bit with the purple. Nothing too crazy, just a very light dusting of this. Then I'm gonna go in with 10, 12, 13, also from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I'm gonna use that to blend between the two colored sections there. For the top, I'm using Nookie, also from Peachy Olive Glitters, and angling my cup down to let that blend into the green section. 
I'm going to aggressively tap off the excess and then to blend all three color sections together I'm going to be using glow stick it just adds a really pretty ethereal blue shifty kind of sparkle that I love look at how pretty I let that dry in front of my space heater for a good 30 minutes and then I was ready to seal it I'm also going to use the adhesive apothecary indoor sealer so first time I've used this product I like it uh, it does take a good amount of time to dry even in front of my heater and my advice to you if you do use this is to do a very light coat don't do anything too thick uh, it does look foggy after it dries, but it will restore shine after you put the epoxy over it. Uh, but once it dried, that glitter was not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, it was it was stuck. It, it did not move, okay? So then I'm going to remove my tape, and I'm going to reuse that tape to cover the glittered section now that it's dry and completely sealed. And we're going to spray paint the opposite side black with some flat black spray paint. As soon as that was dry to the touch, I removed the tape from the glittered section. And I'm going to go in with a pencil and just try to sketch out where I'm going to apply my glitter swirly detail. Okay, I, I just kind of want an angle for it and where I want everything to start and stop. I'm going in with the same glitter glue again. You can see exactly how much I'm applying here and I wanna get just a nice, even, thin coat with my brush. As soon as I get this applied, I can still see the pencil mark that I created earlier through the glue and that's gonna guide me as I hand sprinkle some chunky white opal glitter. This is Basic White Girl from Peachy Olive Glitters and I'm just very carefully hand sprinkling in along that swirl line uh, to create a really pretty kind of divide detail for this black section. Another thing I really like about this glitter glue is how it gives me work time to layer glitter. That's something I've not been able to do with Mod Podge or other adhesives that I've tried and it behaves similarly to epoxy when I do epoxy method glitter application. So I really like that, but it doesn't have the same dry time as epoxy because it dries pretty quick. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So here you can see me layering up more glitters. I went in with Mojito over that basic white girl and then I'm also going to very lightly sprinkle in 10, 12, 13 to create this really beautiful, whimsical, sparkly, minty swirl through this deep black section. And I think it's so dramatic and beautiful. You don't have to set this on a turner to dry or anything. That glitter is not going to shift and move once it's on there. And this took about a half hour to dry before we were able to move on to the next step. I very carefully removed my tape before replacing my tape. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I removed the tape because it had a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, and then I replaced the tape before I spray sealed this. So again, using that indoor spray sealer, I let that dry until it was clear and completely dry to the touch, which took about a half hour. And then I was ready to apply my first coat of epoxy. If you're not taping off the bottom of your tumbler, you can just completely ignore that instruction. I'm using 30 milliliters of my Flynn Sisters Premium Epoxy Resin today. And I'm going to apply this like I normally would. And as soon as I apply the epoxy and I hit it with my torch, I just go ahead and remove my tape so I don't forget. Um, and because we're not using a super, super thick coat, you shouldn't get too much epoxy that goes past your tape line. I let this coat dry for about four to six hours before I came back to apply a second coat right over the top of this. And that second coat dried for a good eight to 10 hours before we were ready to move on to the next step. Now that I've got two good coats on there, I'm ready to start with my sanding. I'm gonna do my normal sanding routine that you guys see me do all the time. We're gonna sand along this top rim to expose a fine line of stainless steel. This fine line of stainless steel is where our final coats of epoxy will adhere to to create the final seal for our tumbler on the outer rim rather than the very top rim where it's more vulnerable. I'm also gonna go around and sand any kind of pokey bits before we move on to applying our decals. 
Once I'm done with my sanding, I'm gonna clean this with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towels. And now we're ready to apply our decals. For the mint and purple glittered section, I'm going to be applying the silhouette of a butterfly wing. And all I did was I measured the height and width of that section and I sized half of a butterfly image to that same height and width. So I sliced a butterfly silhouette in half in my Cricut Design Space software. So I just have half the butterfly wing there. And the height and width of that wing is similar to the height and width of that glittered section. And I'm gonna apply it with the, what would be the center of the butterfly as close to the bottom edge of our glittered section as possible. I'm gonna apply this using the hinge method like I normally would. And any kind of uh, excess of the edge of those wings that overflows into the black section, I'm just going to carefully trim that with my craft knife. For the opposite side, I have this quote that I absolutely love, created with a purpose. For both the butterfly wing and this decal, I'm using just regular permanent vinyl. And I'm gonna apply this again with the hinge method to the center of this design. To clean up the space between sections, I did cut some vinyl strips with my Cricut. Using the shapes feature, you just select a square, resize it at 11.5 inches wide by 0.15 inches tall, and I'm just going to hand place that down the center of both sections, trimming the excess with my craft knife. I'm also going to use an acrylic paint marker from Posca. This is just a white one and I'm going to fill in some of those small dots along the edge of the butterfly wing just for some added detail and interest. Once I was done with that vinyl work, I was ready to apply my final coat of epoxy. Luckily, this cup just took one final coat before it was completely done and I'm so happy with the results. Let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section and if you like my video, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.